This is the GX7. It replaces the GX1 that came before it, and we've missed out on the GX2 through to 6. So uh, Panasonic are playing catch up with this model. Other manufacturers have raced ahead, and uh, hopefully this model will help Panasonic get back in the race. It's a Micro Four Thirds camera. It comes with a 14 to 42 millimeter zoom lens. It's an aluminium bodied camera, so it's quite lightweight, but it's not really one for your pocket. Once you've got your lens attached to it, it is quite bulky. So it's more suited for carrying in a camera bag than around in your pocket. There are five key new features to this camera. The first really is the uh, electronic viewfinder it comes with. It's high resolution and it includes a proximity detector so that when you hold it up to your eye, it actually turns on automatically. But uniquely, it also tilts. You can tilt it up 90 degrees or back down again to suit the shot you're taking. The second key feature is the LCD screen on the back. It's three inches in size and it too, like the viewfinder, can tilt. You could tilt it upwards by about 80 degrees or downwards if you, if you prefer to about 45 degrees to suit the angle of the shot you're taking. The third key feature is the image stabilisation which is built not only into the lens but also into the camera body as well. This is important because it can also take lenses from other manufacturers such as Leica and Olympus. So this means that if you use a lens from one of those manufacturers that doesn't include image stabilisation in the lens, you'll still benefit from the image stabilisation in the body. Next is the built-in Wi-Fi system. This makes it very easy to transfer images to other devices, but it also includes a near-field communication system, NFC, which means you can actually transfer it to compatible devices just by tapping them together. There's also an iPhone app or an app for an Android smartphone which allows you to take remote control of the camera and alter its settings. The top shutter speed has actually been increased to 1 8,000th of a second, which is extremely fast, making it one of the fastest cameras around. Its key specifications are its 16 megapixel resolution. It comes with a 14 to 42 millimeter zoom lens. It's got a 17.3 by 13 millimeter sensor and it weighs a fairly hefty 400 grams or so, which makes it feel quite solid in the hand. So first impressions of the GX7 are very favorable. It's a very versatile camera that comes with some very impressive new features. The tilting viewfinder in particular is, uh, is novel and could be very useful. And the rear LCD screen is also very good. We'll be sending the GX7 off to the lab for full testing soon. But in the meantime, check out our full review of the GX1 our guide to choosing a DSLR and our head-to-head -head of the Canon EL70D versus the Nikon D7100.